Hello, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be doing the lab 10 that is observing an MD5 generated hash value. And these are the instructions, you can read them here. If you want to follow along on your Kali. So let's begin. We're gonna first start the Kali virtual machine. Now, if this is confusing, um, basically they already have a u35.iso file in their downloads folder you can create any file in your it it doesn't have to be an iso it can be virtually any file and with this operator they are sending that output of that md5 sum that the string they're going to get into temp.txt let me actually show you so if we go ahead and open terminal we can type this thing slash oh I should really put ls basically list what's in the inside there and downloads make sure uh, you're case sensitive because that's how uh, Linux is case sensitive and you can see there are a few tech txt files but there is not a temp.txt so basically this will this will create the temp.txt uh, uh, temp <clears throat> uh, basically with the output of md5 sum we're gonna so let's type in uh, md5 sum slash download slash u certify dot iso right here this is the file and we're sending it to slash download slash tmp.txt so basically if I don't have to put tmt I can put my name.txt u certify dot iso don't oh see that's what I was saying that you have to be uh, make sure it's case sensitive but I miss actually miss the downloads now I run again if command execute successfully there is no prompt if uh, there's an error then it will display the error now if I do the ls command again the very first one this one I run it again I just press the upper arrow key and can go through the commands that I did in earlier. I press that and I have this tmt.txt now. Now I have to see the difference. So this command difference basically differs, uh, shows, compares them on the command prompt. def download slash actual.txt. So where did they get this actual.txt? They got it from sorry uh, temp.txt. So you can see that they have the same output. So where did they get this one? Basically in this scenario, in this lab, they had ran this command and named their file actual.txt and for me they wanted it to be uh, different so we can compare but uh, in cybersecurity or in the world like for uh, I if you've seen my Kali video when we downloaded they run the this hash on their system and pu publish publish the hash value onto their website when you download you run this hash um, this uh, value on your PC and compare them both that from the time they publish the file that ISO on their website the time you downloaded it was the the integrity is still there it's not like somebody added or removed any code or any file in that uh, whole archive Hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one. Where is it? Submit. Yeah, I have to submit it as well. And record my answer. 